Um, so when I was thinking about all these uh, living history stock and I was thinking about what um, I gathered, because I, uh, I think I attended all of these talks. I listened to all of them. So it's pretty actually hard to pick up one from another because like they are all inspiring in different ways. But one thing that stuck to me from all these talks is um, the human side of the of science, and uh, most importantly, which, which kind of like uh, inspires me the law um, most is how people have dealt with like the setbacks in their career. So these are not in their personal life or in their career. So there are a few things I remember from uh, Professor Christina Marchetti's talk when she talked about her experience during postdocs when, um, but uh, you know, how she dealt with it uh, or uh, Professor Bernadette Gordon's talk where she had some experience um, during her career as well. Um, you know, JC Conrad's talk. Uh, I really like Professor JC Conrad's talk. Um, um, I, I think these are the moments which I captured the most. And also, uh, these are the moments I captured the most. And also, like um, now speaking about it, I was really inspired that how a career trajectory can change from starting from one place to another. I am recalling uh, Professor Danny Bessett's talk when uh, uh, there, uh, you know, the the way the career was shaped is is very unique. And uh, with what I was reflecting on is like, you know, uh, how many career options a person can take. The most um, since I started a new crew. Uh, and I had, I would say, the least, uh, you know, uh, friction in my career to to become an assistant professor, thanks to both of my PhD and postdoc advisor. I I try to gather this information from these talks to reflect it on my group members or my students and or anyone in the in the next uh, line of new scientist I talk to, so I can reflect that there are many, many career options. If you feel that something is not going right or good, you can still have another option. There's not a dead end anywhere. So I think these all, all talks coming together uh, uh, had really inspired me. And uh, it's pretty hard to pick out one from other. Um, or for example, I remember, uh, and, and I tell my students also to, to go ahead and, and, and listen to these talks. The reason is, I remember when I was listening to Professor Manu Prakash's talk, and I remember at a moment he mentioned that he almost had an accident um, playing with his brother and it was a firecracker. And, you know, growing up in India, that's pretty common, but uh, you never think about these things when you when you speak about science or you think about uh, how a career in science goes. And so these kind of interactions uh, sort of stood out. Uh, stood out. So I, I started liking this. So I think like when I tell um, the other kids or students or uh, whatever uh, uh, capacity I can talk to them, uh, I think these are the points I try to bring up and, and try to show them a picture that, you know, uh, it, it's okay to, uh, to explore your path in science, even if it feels like a random walk sometimes.